Hey, it's Angela. Um, I decided that I'm going to try to film this today. May or may not keep my voice in. We will see. But I'm taking a cue from Mixed Media Girl who likes to pour over some weird stuff. And I found this skull at Michael's yesterday. Uh, and I decided to um, toss some spray paint on it last night. And I'm going to pour on top of it. Hopefully we'll end up with a fun little piece of art. And then after I'm done pouring on top of the skull, I'm going to tilt the canvas. And then I get a bonus piece of art out of it. So I thought I'd quick film it. And if you can hear screaming in the background, it's actually not my child for once. Yay. Um, I have the windows open and... Um, my neighbors have a child that's younger than mine. So um, I'm using Artist Loft uh, pre-mixed, um, yeah, ready mix pouring paint, um, mostly in fall colors. Threw in a dash of blue since this was Mixed Media Girl sort of inspired. She tends to toss in a lot of blue into whatever she does, so I figured I might as well do the same. So here goes. Let's give it a try. And now they're singing. Next door, I'm just going to ring, Ooh. and we're just going to let him fall where he wants to fall, no pun intended. That's looking so fun. I am not normally like a skull and crossbones kind of gal, but um, I don't know, he just seemed really fun. And the idea of pouring paint all over him seemed even more fun. No, he's not getting fully covered. So I'm going to maybe just try to tilt him up a little bit. But even if he doesn't get fully covered, um, that's kind of why I decided to go ahead and spray paint him first. I figured a black base you can't really go wrong with. Um, this, by the way, was a 9-ounce cup that I didn't fill, obviously, all the way. Uh, there's a whole slew of calculators that are going to tell you how much paint you need. I still have not perfected it. I try to follow the guidelines of what everybody says, and sometimes I get it just right. Sometimes I feel like I don't have enough. Sometimes I feel like I have too much, and, um, yeah. So, I'm going to let him sit here for a few minutes. Um, and I will, as Mixed Media Girl says, I will speed this part up and, um, let you watch him kind of morph a little bit. And, um, I might actually pour a little bit more paint in here and see if I can get his little mouth. So, I'll do that. covered most everything but his teeth. Now there's definitely a ridiculous amount of paint on this canvas, so I'm probably going to lose a lot. Um, you know what I might do? Just for fun. Whoops. Maybe we'll even get one more tiny little canvas. We'll see if we can get some drip to run off on the five by seven. So maybe we'll get three pieces of art out of this because I did get a lot of paint on there. So um, I'm gonna gently pick him up, set him off to the side. Um, he's gonna continue to drip and um, hopefully wherever I put my fingerprints on, um, it'll keep dripping. Um, but like I said, that's why I spray painted him at the beginning so that he would probably have a black base and then whatever he was left with is what he's left with. So. Um, 
So let's see. Here you go, little guy. Whoop. I'll set you over there. All right. Now, that is really cool. Look at the design that made. Holy crow. Now, of course, it's not going to stay this way because I have to stretch it. But the runoff on that is just so neat. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Okay. All right, let me put you back up. And we're going to tilt the heck out of this. Okay, here we go. Let's tilt. And we're going to try to tilt a little bit onto this canvas just because. So. But if we don't fill this canvas, that's okay too. It's just a little five by seven that I had kind of hanging around. Um, otherwise, I I do have a silicone mat. I don't have one of those um, fancy Lily Zephy mats that um, all the fancy YouTubers have. Um, that will probably be on my Christmas list. Um, but... Yeah, that 5x7 is probably not going to get much paint on it. Um, sorry, some of this is not going to be in frame. Um, but for right now, just for cleanliness sake, I just have uh, freezer paper down, which will catch the drips and will give me some of those lovely skins that I make my fun keychains out of. Um, so I am excited about that. And this is really cool and kind of dark and gloomy and I kind of love it kind of love it okay so I'm gonna let this sit here for just a second clean up some of my edges here make sure I got my corners let me see what I've got here on this little five by seven now this was drips on top of drips so this one may end up being a little bit more muddy, but you know what? That's part of the fun, right? Now the trick is going to be to make sure I don't get any paint from this one on the big one that's sitting behind it. That blue and gold and yellow and red just kind of turned into this like really cool like kind of olivey green and a lot of really cool earthy tones that I don't think I could get otherwise. Like I think if I tried to actually paint with colors like that out of the bottle it would just come out looking like poo frankly. And, um, this has kind of done it on its own, and I'm kind of impressed with it for a little 5 by 7 I'm pretty happy with that. Just trying to get that last little corner here. The edges tend to kind of level themselves out a bit as it sits and dries at least that's what i've found especially with this paint um this paint doesn't really tend to create cells um look at that that's kind of the finished piece of that Hopefully you can see oh you can see my ring light though <laughs> uh, my little 20 dollar investment um it does not tend to create cells. The only time I really tend to torch with this paint is to get out some air bubbles. Um, that's really the only thing I use the torch for with this paint. But even then, sorry, there's a bloop of something here that I'm probably messing up this corner on. Yep, totally messed up that corner. But we'll try to fix it a little bit. Oop. All right, hold on. Oh, time to get your hands dirty. All right. 
Yeah, it's a little bit better. Actually, you can probably tilt some of that corner off still. Okay, it looks like there's a little booger in here too. I'm gonna grab my tweezers and see if I can get that other one. There we go. That cleaned up that corner nicely. Okay, so I am gonna let this sit and dry. I am gonna try to see and grab my tweezers and get this little booger out of here. Oh, nope, that was an air bubble. Just kidding. Oh, that is booger. That is a rookie mistake. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I screw up the first time. That's okay. It's all right. Didn't happen. Um, and I think we're good. I think we're good. Just cleaning up my edges a little bit. This is my favorite. I love going along the edges like this. Most people use like a trowel to do it, but I really, really just kind of like sticking my fingers in it because it's very satisfying. I don't know why. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so we got the skull, we got the painting, and we got another little painting out of it. Uh, stay tuned and I will show you the dried results. Hey guys, so I'm back with the dried results. And here is our little skull friend. He came out pretty good. He's got some really great little swirls on him. I like the inside of his eyeball right there. It's kind of fun. Some colors on the back. Let me just turn him around. Here is the 10 by 10. I'm gonna try to show it. I apologize, there's gonna be some shadows, but um, there is some natural daylight in here. I do have my light on as well, but um, lots of really great swirls in here. The best word I can use to describe this is moody. Just very, very um, earthy and natural and considering how bright the colors were they kept their lines really well they didn't really get muddy but they just turned into this very neutral looking thing <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it i'm sure there are better words but um it's monday morning and i don't have the words so that is the 10 by 10. Again, I'm sorry for the shadow, but I do really love how that came out. And here's our little bonus 5x5, five five, or I'm sorry, 5x7 that we got out of it. Again, very earthy colors. There's a lot of gold in there. I love the little stripe of red and blue on the bottom and that little burst of white that kind of came out. It's really fun. So I got three really cool pieces, I think, out of one, one little pour, all inspired by this little skull. <laughs> so thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, if you enjoyed this video please hit like maybe give me a subscribe hopefully i'll be posting more videos and thanks again to mixed media girl for the inspiration it's really fun to pour on some weird stuff including skulls <laughs> thanks again guys see you next time bye